Welcome back, everybody, to Joe's RC Corner. My name is Joe. Um, I want to wish everybody a happy holidays. I'm glad. Uh, I hope everyone had a great uh, holiday vacation, uh, if you had one. Um, and uh, today is uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, tomorrow, uh, this video will be released on New Year's Day. So, happy New Year to everybody in 2019. Uh, looking forward to, to uh, expanding this channel and uh, completing a few more builds over time and maybe doing some uh, uh, take you out to the field and uh, do some flights. Um, so anyways, um, next step, uh, basically I just wanted to go over what I have accomplished during the uh, couple of weeks that I was off uh, from making the videos for you guys. Uh, I do have uh, some video or some uh, time lapse that I will be doing some, uh, uh, will po post on this video as well. Um, but uh, basically, just a complete overall uh, look at what we've what I've accomplished uh, during the time off. Um, the aircraft is now up on its wheels. Uh, the linkages are completed to the tail surfaces. The tail surfaces. Uh, the, the vertical is not glued on yet. I'm not ready to have that permanently attached at this point. Uh, I do have some finishing um, uh, carving and uh, cutting of the uh, fuselage plastic sides. There's a, a lot of uh, fitting uh, still involved in this uh, portion of it. Um, but all said and done, though, it is starting to look more like an aircraft, though, uh, which is great. Um, you actually start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel this way. Um, but doesn't mean that the aircraft is almost done. It is far from that. Um, so as we discussed in previous videos, I did decide to go ahead and do electric on this. Uh, we are going to be making a hatch out of the top canopy here. Um, I've also uh, ordered the motor already. Uh, looks like we're going to go with a six cell uh, battery pack setup. I'll show you the batteries that I plan to be utilizing for this. Uh, bought them on uh, Amazon. Uh, they are Gen Ace 5000 milliamp batteries. There's uh, two three cells. They're very thin battery packs, as you can see. And uh, so that'll be running a 6S 5000 milliamp battery pack. Uh, we'll have one on either side inside the fuselage uh, up in the front here. I'll wire them together in a uh, series setup, which will give me, uh, you know, like I said, a 6S 5000. I can run a uh, 13 inch prop on here. So I'm going to be running a 13.7. Uh, so I did a little bit of filling on the wing. I uh, want to give the update on that. So I did some filling uh, on both the uh, wing and the tail surfaces. Uh, did some final sanding on those as well. Um, have a few more uh, little little things that still need to be accomplished over the uh, next course of time here, um, and uh, we'll we'll get moving with it. Hey guys, thanks for joining me uh, today. So, uh, as you can see, I'm doing the extensions on the servo leads on this video. Um, it is going to be on time lapse uh, because it's a very boring uh, video of just soldering three wires over and over again. So, uh, right here, I'm just soldering, putting some solder on, uh, using a little bit of flux, and uh, we're going to connect those wires together. Um, so, once those solders, uh, once those leads are connected and uh, it's fed into the wing there will be no maintenance that I'll need to do to those uh, servo leads once they're installed. Uh, saves a lot of time, saves a lot of hassle, and saves a lot of worry in the long run. So that's what we're doing here. Um, hope you all enjoy this part. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions, any changes uh, that I might need to look at, and uh, we'll go from there. So I appreciate your time. Thank you again, and enjoy the video. So right here, I went ahead and I grabbed my uh, heat gun and uh, I'm doing the heat shrink on each individual three of the three wires. And then I'm doing a larger heat shrink over all of them to keep them all protected while inside the wing. Because like I said, I don't want any have, have any to do any maintenance with them. 
Um, so the next thing I'm doing, uh, it is a pretty long run of servo lead, so I separated all three of them and I went ahead and twisted them. Uh, that's going to cut down on any interference that might in, that uh, might get into the receiver from the servo leads. With 2.4 nowadays, it's not as common, uh, but it is still possible to get any uh, get interference uh, through those servo leads because basically you're running a long antenna uh, through the wing uh, with all those wires. So that's what we did there. Uh, now I'm soldering the servo uh, to the end of the lead here. I'm uh, doing the same process as before. Uh, I'm only going to show this once on this uh, in this video because uh, it's a really boring to do this uh, portion of the video. Uh, then we'll move on uh, to some more exciting stuff that was accomplished during the uh, holiday break. All right, so uh, the next steps here, I'm gonna be installing the uh, elevator and rudder servos. And uh, basically they just mount straight to the uh, side of the fuselage. So um, right there, I'm getting the mounts ready. Uh, got them cut, get them glued, and uh, we'll see how that all goes together. And we'll uh, install the linkage. The linkage is gonna be uh, NIROD. I'm gonna use solid um, 256 NIROD. Uh, tubing guides and then the uh, the 256 metal rod going through it. Uh, I'm not really fond of the flex uh, super flex rods uh, so I'm going to use solid rods for this and uh, one end is going to have ball links on the control surface side as noted in the in a previous video and then on the uh, servo side I'm going to have a silver soldered uh, clevis to the uh, servo arm itself. <music> So the servo mounts are going to be uh, cut directly from quarter by quarter uh, basswood. It's a uh, hardwood, uh, allows for the servos to be screwed directly to them, uh, nice and easy. Uh, then I'm going to be using some balsa uh, angler stock and uh, that's going to be glued on the bottom side, uh, top side of the fuselage, uh, just to give it a little more surface area for the glue to adhere to.
All right, so the next step is I'm going to be making the supports uh, to hold those nye rods so that they don't flex if there's any back pressure on the surfaces themselves. All right, so now I'm filling in all of the uh, any imperfections in the wood using uh, a lightweight filler. Uh, it does dry white, however, uh, since the aircraft's going to be painted, it's not going to be that big of a difference. So uh, right now I'm just doing the ailerons first, and uh, then uh, I'm going to do some filling on the wing in certain areas, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so the next steps here are going to be uh, getting ready to mount that uh, horizontal stabilizer. Uh, so uh, they do have uh, wooden dowels that go through the fuselage uh, center section and actually go through the uh, stabilizer itself. Make sure that everything uh, holds in there nice and tight and uh, we'll make sure that the uh, horizontal stabilizer is square to the fuselage. And then uh, before gluing, I do make sure that it is also square with the wing. That's very important. So at this point, uh, what the uh, plan is, uh, is the, uh, the fuselage plastic sides don't exactly meet all the way up against the firewall there. So I added some balsa behind the firewall. Uh, so that way I have a location to glue the front half of that uh, uh, fiber of the plastic fuselage halves to uh, up in the front. Um, normally on a gas engine, uh, the plan was to just fill that area up with uh, silicone, but uh, with electric, I uh, figured just close it right up. Woo! Trying to get the fuselage halves uh, to fit properly around the profile fuselage. It takes a lot of test, trim, fit, test, trim, fit. Here you see me, I'm using some of the plastic weld to uh, try to f repair some of the cracks uh, that were uh, in the fuselage already. Uh, basically using some scrap pieces, laying them in there, and then using the plastic weld uh, to uh, uh, adhere it to the section uh, that's cracked. Okay, and now start with the other side of the fuselage. Same situation. There were some spots that the plastic was very, very thin, so I had to use some of that plastic weld again uh, with some scrap pieces of the plastic that I cut off. 
and uh, repaired those sections as well. I want to thank you for joining me today at Joe's RC Corner uh, and joining me on this construction build of the uh, SIG Super Chipmunk. Um, I enjoy sharing my skills and my knowledge and my joy of building model aircraft. Um, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. I will be sending out a new video every week on Saturday uh, of the work that was done pre uh, during the previous week. Happy New Year, everybody, and I hope to see you next week. <laughs>